Please consider supporting my Patreon to see more stuff like this. Hey up there, it's Wake Angel 2001 and in case you haven't noticed, my face went bald. Um, uh, in case you haven't noticed, the lighting here is kind of sucky. That's because it's nighttime and there's no natural light coming into the window to counterbalance my little lamp. Let me see if uh, setting the lamp farther away will make me appear a little bit more natural, less like a ghost. Yeah, I guess that works. Okay, so um, the reason I'm doing this is because, uh, well, after I closed up shop today at Toys R Us, I was, you know, doing the cleanup as I do, and when I was absolutely gobsmacked to find this it's a completely out of nowhere chic figure uh from the wave from wave five of the world of nintendo line like didn't the wave four line that had the ocarina of time link drop like freaking two weeks ago now we're getting the fifth wave already i mean for how much of the space there was between the first and second wave for the fourth and fifth ones to be practically on top of each other like this is like Okay, so I'm just going to go through the packaging real quick. It's your standard Ocarina of Time packaging with Link up there. And as you can see, they aren't even really bothering to keep the accessories secret anymore. As they just show, um, she comes with her harp. Uh, so, down here we see... Uh, the back, we see the glamour shot of the figure, of course, along with the figures that are also appearing in the wave, including Gold Mario, Bowser Jr., Waluigi, Catsuit Luigi, and um, Sheik there. So, yeah, it's a very simple affair. Um, uh, Bowser Jr. looks pretty cool. He looks as cool as his amiibo did, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yet another repaint of Mario, but... I don't know. Uh, Gold Mario was a thing. I mean, it's not, it's not like it's a waste. Alright, so let's, uh, let's open this up and see the figure inside. I'm so excited! So here she is, out of the packaging. Sheik! Uh, now, first off, I'd like to say that this Sheik figure pulls off a neutral stance a lot better than the Ocarina of Time Link did. Uh, let's bring um, him out for comparison. As you can see, like, since Sheik doesn't have that weird molding thing where the arm is designed to stay outwards, uh, she's able to put her arms much more at her sides for an at-ease stance. So, you know, that, that's one plus. Okay, so, the first thing I should really do is zoom in there and get a look at that lovely, lovely sculpt and paint job. Um, so, you have, uh, you have the whole hairs over one eye. I think there's actually... Let's, uh... Yeah, the, the second eye socket is still sculpted in there, but they didn't bother to paint it. I guess since from the front is completely covered by the hair, it kind of makes sense. You know, it's kind of a whole, like, how would you get a paintbrush back there once you put the head on? Um, if I were to do that, I would have painted the eye first and then sculpted the hair on, but that's just something you lose with mass production. Uh, going down... You see the um, that little robe that has the tear the teardrop eye on it, and it is a separate piece. It's like a soft material on top of the outfit, and it goes onto the back as well. Uh, yep, yep. And then the rest of the ninja style costume, including the finger wraps, the boots, and uh, those weird shoes that have like the one protruding toe. And impressive high heels. They almost make the foot look a little bit skeletal. I'm guessing uh, Zelda put. I'm guessing there's like lifts in there to make your to make Zelda just a little bit taller. So, uh, you know, because because passing as a boy for seven years. <laughs> okay, so. So, yeah, the, the figure looks fantastic. It, it's a great spot-on representation of Sheik. Uh, let's do a quick articulation rundown. The head is on a ball joint, but the sculpt of the headscarf 
kind of limits it to a swivel, although she can still tilt the head a little bit to gesticulate, so it, it looks weird the way the cut happens, but, but, yeah, it only looks weird, but the articulation range is totally there. Shoulders are universally jointed. She can almost go into a tree stance. Of course, they rotate forward as well. Um, shoulders, el elbows have a really, whoop, Elbows have a really good ball joint. I'd say that is almost as good an elbow as the Skyward Sword Link has. That's really good. And it has that whole pseudo figma thing, so it has a bicep swivel. Wrist is on a swivel and a hinge. Very good. I don't know what made me think of Naga the Serpent right there. Um, amazingly, no waist joint. There's really no reason why there shouldn't be a waist joint there, but there is none. Hips are one flaw. Um, they are ball jointed, but the the sculpt of the thighs makes it effectively like a V crotch when you move the legs forward. I don't think that this nece this is the same problem that Fox had, and I don't think that it's necessary. I mean. If they could have just like cut a little bit more into this material, then the legs would have come forward a little bit more naturally. And there's no thigh swivel and nothing at the boot cut, which is really weird, cause cause uh, Link had boot cut articulation. Both Links did. And um, and Samus had knee had a thigh swivel at the knee, so I really don't get why she doesn't have it. Um, the knees don't really get that deep a bend. That is a shame. Because Sheik's ninja-like moves really went for deep knee bends. So if there was ever a figure that needed a super deep knee bend, it would have been her. But the knee is pretty shallow. I'd say 75 degrees would be generous. Uh, the feet are masterfully articulated, though. I, I don't know if there's like a double hinge or a ball joint in there, but they like can move all around. They like go up and down and in and out. So... Like, wide-legged stances are perfectly allowable with this leg. Which, yeah. See, look at that. That's awesome. Kind of, almost makes up for the lack of knee bends, really. Um, so, yeah, like, uh, the articulation is okay. It's not the best articulated world in Nintendo figure, but it is, no, I'd say just about below Fox's level. I mean, Fox Fox didn't have such awesome ball-jointed ankles, but he did have a waist joint and knee swivels. So, I don't know, I'd say, like, better feet than Fox, but not as good legs as Fox. Um, and plus, that whole ball joint's reduced to a V crotch because of sculpted thigh. That's, that's really a pain. I don't, I wish that that wasn't the deal, but, oh well. Still, Sheik looks amazing. Gotta love the look. I am absolutely not faulting how Sheik looks. Um, now, Sheik comes with a single accessory, the harp, which um, I have... I, I experimented around because, like, the, the hands are very soft and squishy. And, um, like, I tried to figure out, like, how it's supposed to grip onto the harp. The obvious thing is to put it there, but, you know, there's nothing, no substance. And, um, the best way to get Sheik to hold the harp is to, like, kind of, kind of hook onto the hand like that. So, can Sheik pull off a stance where it looks like she's naturally strumming the harp? Well, let's see. It turns out that the answer is yes. Those wrist swivels really help it, because, um... The bicep and elbow swivels alone would leave her holding the harp looking a really weird way and her fingers wouldn't actually be going over it. But thanks to, thanks to that bend in her wrist, you can get her hand in so it looks a lot more like she's reaching for the strings. And this hand isn't actually supporting it. See? If I wanted to, I could bring it over farther so she's getting at the inner ones. So, yeah. She can successfully wield her accessory in a pretty natural-looking fashion. Um, better than Peach, at least. <laughs> yeah, Peach, who can really only hold her umbrella by kind of hooking it around her hand. 
Uh, and yes, she does pretty much scale with Peach. I mean, Peach is a Mario character, so the larger head in proportion to the body is part of the style. Versus the Legend of Zelda franchise, which has a slightly more realistic body proportions. Uh, I don't know, it, it kind of works. I mean, you gotta fudge scale a little bit in this line anyway. Like I said, like, th this 4-inch Peach figure actually scales better with Figma than anything else, because, cause, you know, Link, Link would be a normal-heighted person, and anyone from the Mushroom Kingdom would be really short. Just makes a little bit more sense. Um, but, yeah, the Sheik figure from Ocarina of Time. Lovely, 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 lovely Sheik figure. It is absolutely fantastic. Um, I am surprised that it came out before a Zelda figure. Then again, I guess Sheik is more marketable to boys than Zelda would be. And after all, we've already had one princess in a pink dress. Um, but yeah, fantastic figure, despite lacking some articulation in the hips and knees. Um, I don't know, a thigh swivel might have made me forgive the sh relatively shallow knee bends, but those ankle rockers really do buy back some points. It is kind of a mixed bag of a figure, but at the price point that it's at of less than twelve dollars, and um, and and the fact that this really is the first real chic figure, I'm willing to give it a little bit more leeway. It is quite good for what it is. If this was a, a more expensive release, like something closer to the twenty dollar price point, I would be mad. But I'm not. It's less than twelve bucks, so I'm I got nothing to complain about. It's it's a really good figure for that price, and I would highly recommend it. Um, yeah, like it's a good figure for the price. It doesn't feel fragile, so you can still give it to kids, and it looks good enough that an adult collector would want to display it. Perfect. Uh, she checks all of the marks that she needs to, and uh, that's pretty much all I gotta say. So this is Wake Angel 2001, and I'm signing off to play with my new little chic figure.